Hey everybody, welcome to my channel, Landscape Rescue. My name's Stuart Moore, where I can assure you, you might not be impressed, but you won't be disappointed. And disappointed is a very important word. I'm Stuart Moore, thank you very much for letting me into your home to talk about plants. This episode is going to be a couple parts because it was a big uh, job with a lot of plants. There was a ton of filming, I had to come back and recharge batteries and empty memory cards and oh boo -hoo. let me play a sad song for you on the world's smallest violin i started editing and started cutting it up and i just can't leave a lot of this information um, because this was a newer employee to the company that i was helping out and uh, i felt like they needed a little extra training um, because he wasn't necessarily, he was a very hard worker, but he wasn't a landscaper. Um, and those are, are two things that, um, they're very different. You know, you can be a super, super hard worker and then landscaping will bring you to your knees because it's just one of those industries that, uh, is not easy. And especially around here since the digging so hard to do. So this is kind of another power planter video uh, because I brought the power planter in to help out. Um, heavily compacted soils that have been machine interference. So uh, when they were building this giant retaining wall, there was uh, a lot of machines, track machines, a lot of heavy stuff driving over top of the soil when it was wet and it turned out to be like concrete. Not to mention the construction debris construction debris from where they built the sidewalk. So there was a lot going on here uh, and thank God we had the power planter. It was just the two of us and I was only going to go down there as a consultant but what ended up happening is I, I had to help this guy out because he was going to be there for weeks. Um, especially once we started digging around and I started seeing all the rocks and all the construction debris and things like that. I was like this guy you know being new how in the world would he do this by himself. Um, so anyway, I definitely kind of hopped in and uh, you'll see that. So in this video, we're planting a uh, Japanese maple. Now this is a Veritas Japanese maple. I, I want you guys to enjoy the video. I think you will. Um, there's a lot of information in there uh, that, that that's what I would do if I was training a new person. I would help him in the same way that I'm helping this gentleman. So. Uh, Enjoy. Hey everybody, so like I was saying, we're gonna do a reaction video with Caleb here with Royal Lawn Care about the power planter and the right angle Makita drill. So I've got the five amp batteries on here now, they're fully charged and uh, we're gonna see if we can speed these guys up with that. What do you think? I think it's an awesome idea, man. So we had a Japanese maple. We're gonna be using uh, Healthy Start as our beneficial fungus and beneficial bacteria inoculant. And then we're going to use two of your fertilizer tablets to just kind of supplement. Uh, ready to get digging? Yes, sir. Let's get digging. So this is Healthy Start. This has got beneficial fungus and beneficial bacteria in it. And uh, it touts no sludges, no manures. Oh, wow. So it's like, you know, seaweed kelp, sort of stuff like, you know, hippie shit. Mm -hmm. All right. Sounds like a hippie salad. <laughs> that salad's totally grossing me out. I've completely lost my appetite. Okay. So what I like to do is, I like to take a come and go cup or something and I cut it right here at the bottom. And then I just throw the scooper in the bag so we always have a scooper. And a lot of this is just gonna be, you know, your own, your own judgment. You know, so something big like that, maybe we'll get two, you know, two cups. And that's about a cup. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of times you read the back of the bag and it tells you, or, or the front of the bag or whatever, it's gonna, wherever the instructions are going to be, one gallon is one cup. Uh, I feel like that's a little much because we're using it as an inoculant. We're not using it as a fertilizer. So if we were using it as a fertilizer, one cup would probably be okay for one gallon vinca. But since we're adding the micro tabs, Right, we're going to get a bunch of fertilizer from that, a bunch of supplemental nutrition from the tablets, and we're going to put two tablets on either side of that about halfway down. And so this, we're just looking for this to give us a little bit of beneficial fungus and a little bit of beneficial bacteria. And then and then that way, 
you know, we're, we're helping the, the longevity of the plants. And the faster they get established, the faster they start getting bigger. And the more you guys look like superheroes a year from now to your customers. They'll definitely then, speed up the process. Right. Oh, yeah, definitely, man. Cool. And it just looks healthier. Everything's thriving really good. Um, is that kind of where, right here? Uh, yeah, the, yes, right there. Okay. So I'm going to show you how I use this. And then you can get on. So what I like to do is... Uh, Are you an idiot? Is I like to make like a little triangle, right? Mm -hmm. So I like to put my hip right here, and then I hold on to it here. Does that make sense? Yeah. Because it's going to sturdy. It's going to tweak if it hits anything. Yeah. Which we live in Missouri, so rock. <laughs> it's going to hit stuff, right? So and I've got the clip kind of built in here. So then, Some rocks in here look at that one that just kicked up <clears throat> check this out guys look at that <gasps> oh my god that big old son of a gun that's a miracle worker <laughs> yeah so what i believe you were trying to say is thank you thank you you're welcome <laughs> and then once you kind of get it broken up. See, and now we just go in there with the shovel and we just pull it all out. I'll grab that shovel real fast. Yeah, you got a wheelbarrow in there? Uh, yeah, I got three. I got yeah, bring one wheelbarrow. You want to spend a little extra money on the beneficial fungus, beneficial bacteria, the two-year fertilizer tablets when you're spending the kind of money that we typically spend when we buy a uh, a Japanese maple. All right, let's get this. Now, ideally, this, the power plant or this setup would keep you from having to, um, keep you from having to break out the rock bar or the pick. You know what I mean? Like, that's kind of what, what I'm feeling like its practical application is, is. That tip you, know, you have on there? Well, helps. just it in general. Like, you know, because it, those teeth will grab a rock and spit it right out. Like that big giant. There we go. So as we're shoveling that out, it's kind of self-mixing. Um, and then this stuff here. And you want that down the very bottom, not sure? Well, no, because um, roots go out. They don't necessarily go down. I mean, they go down when they're in a pot because they've got, you know, they're stuck. Yeah. Um, so let's put a little bit more soil in there and we'll check our level again. Okay. <laughs> It rained. It pretty much rained all day yesterday, right? Was it yes. yesterday? It rained pretty much all day. Yeah. Yeah. Not a whole lot of fun. Ready for this? Yep. Pop her in there, and we'll see what how it. How it lands. How's that? Look? Yeah. See, that's almost perfect. So you don't want it. Uh, super high but you don't want it too low is a is going to be an issue too now i don't typically pull the um, burlap off i do take the yeah. just mushroom it out fold it out yeah yeah i mean because look once you take this off now you have more string underneath there right and you got to check to make sure that's not a yeah cut that string 
if it's a vinyl string, like a like a non biodegradable string, mm -hmm. then it'll choke that trunk off. Yeah. You want the base of this ground level, correct? Well, a little high. Uh -huh. Right, because we're gonna remember we're gonna put three inches of mulch on top of this, or <laughs> you are <laughs> yeah. uh, gonna put three inches of mulch. <laughs> Yeah, and let's put eight of these tablets. Um, if you just want to push those down. Uh, yeah, there you go. Yeah, push them down. You kind of want them under about six inches of soil. Uh, there we go. How, 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 how big did he get? Well, I don't know what variety he ended up getting. Where's the tags on there? Um, I thought this was a Veritas. Okay, so this is just like... Use your words. Use your words. A okay, so this is a Veritas. So, I mean, these could get pretty big, but the great thing about them is they trim so well that, uh, I mean, you... you you trim them just a little bit, like selectively, just go in and kind of prune them, and it sets them back a year, you know, so you really don't have to mess with them too much. Ideally, you want to plant the right plant for the right place, and it can just do whatever in the hell it wants and look gorgeous. Because I'm, I'm a lazy landscaper, man. I don't want to come back and have to trim something and have it look goofy for a year and a half until it grows out. Mm -hmm. I've been doing a lot of that. <laughs> So there you go. We planted the Japanese maple. We use beneficial fungus, beneficial bacteria inoculants, and you can do that with either biotone, uh, anything that has the word mycorrhiza in the description of what it does. Biotone is a biological toner for the soil. Um, we used Healthy Start in this particular, uh, on this particular job. It's very, very hard to find biotone in the 25 pound bag right now and i use it so much i don't mess with the uh, four pound bags unless i have no choice um, which a lot of the times an emergency situation i know a couple places i can get it i'll shoot over there and they're usually kind of located relatively close to where i'm going um, but just because it says tone on it just because it's an espoma product doesn't mean it's uh, got the mycorrhiza. So I don't mess with the other tones. Sorry, Espoma. I don't do garden tone or flower tone. I just use biotone and then I supplement if I need more nitrogen, more phosphorus, more potassium. What the biotone has to offer, then I'll use another fertilizer. Typically it's a, it's a, you know, a slow release annual fertilizer, a slow release perennial tree and shrub or something to that effect. All right, uh, the cat's chewing on the straps to my camera bag, so I'm out. Hey, you little jerk. Stop that.